What up, sweet gang? It's your girl Rochelle in the building coming to you with a live video tutorial. And we are going to get busy in this sweet gang. Sweet gang. <laughs> so we're going to get busy showing you how to make this denim look as well as the edible glitter look. Hello, hello, hello. If you are new to my channel, go ahead, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. And once this video is done, and if you have enjoyed it, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, letting me know. And y'all let me know if we are clear. For those that will be re-watching this video, this is an actual time video. So please be advised, this was recorded live. Hey Cynthia, so there will be feedback questions answered in this video. Hello, we clear? Video clear? Video clear? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can somebody give me an okay to go? Okay to go okay to go and we're gonna go so once again it's your girl rochelle and if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button that notification bell to keep up to date with what your girl Ro is doing on her channel all right so what i'm gonna do here if you uh, want the fullness of how to make the cake sickles check out my channel and go to videos and you will see how to make cake sickles um the valentine version uh for these cake pop sickles all right so what i'm going to go through is show you how you can do it in a different way as well um what i have is the cake sickles already dipped and done and as you see here this is the one that i finished that you all have seen and the silver one with the bow okay so if you show you a few things and this is just very simple the mold that i use was a three cavity mold which i will leave all the supplies in my description box below but i'm also going to show you another way after i sh show you how to get the denim look for this particular cake sickle okay So we're going to do the blue jean one since I didn't have this one already done. All right. You want to take a kabuki brush. And you want to have some paper, some paper towel or some wax paper, whichever one you choose to use. Some white edible art paint. Okay. And you just want to use a paint palette or, you know, dab it on your paper towel or wax paper. Taking your kabuki brush, dab just a little bit. Dab again onto your paper towel and just dab so lightly. You want to not add so much to it. Okay. And just dab until you get that denim look. Mine's have cracked because I left this out. Okay. It's still cracking. That's how you get the denim look. All right. Y'all still with me?
Now, after you have got your denim look, I'm trying to keep this together because I left this out just for y'all. All right. With the um, silver one, you want to use um, this is uh, this is actually a luster dust. Now you can use for this to be a hundred percent edible. You can use the poppy paint. Okay, this is a poppy. Um, this is poppy paint, a hundred percent edible. Okay, this is a pearl, and they do have silver. And you can put it in this container or your your paint palette. Just put some in here just to paint from. Okay, taking your brush. And just paint that on. Let me get a and just some nice even strokes along. Get a wider one. I got a wider brush to so get a better stroke here. Now this is a pearl color, so this is a little lighter. If you use silver, it will okay. it will show up silver, so either or. Sorry about that. So once that is done and you have it painted, let's go over that one more time. You want to take the edible glitter, okay, by Never Forgot Designs. This is flash dust, okay. And just spray right over that. You want to cover the whole thing. Now with this one I did in pearl. The other one I did in silver. So that's why you see a difference. This was done in silver. And this one is just some pearl. Okay. And that's how you get that look. So re always remember if you want that color, you want to coat the color with the solid color first, which if you want it to be a little bit more in silver you will paint silver and then go over with the dust 
Yes, you can use it on candy apples. It's 100% edible. Okay? But either or. Both of them are pretty. Okay? And just to show you uh, the silver. Let me see if I can get the silver. So if this was, I'm using the silver now. I'm just going over this one so you can see that if you want it silver, you go darker, nice strokes. Now, poppy paint can be a little expensive, but um, it works. It gives good, vibrant, solid coloring. Or you can use the edible art paint. They have silver as well. Uh -oh. Okay, and once again, spray. Yeah, it's coming up. But as you see here, I'm going to get glitter everywhere, even on the, uh, take that kabuki, kabuki brush, get that off of there. But that would be your silver. So I showed you pearl and silver. Do 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 do. Um, do it clog. This is just a powder that's in here. And if you do have to shake it up and do that, it'll it'll come out fine. As you see, it's it's this is flash dust, one hundred percent edible, FDA compliant, and it comes in a pump. Some comes in a jar. So this pump is very useful. And the same for getting your pieces as far as the chain and the heart and key. You would use some white, find it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Real quickly, this mold, you don't have to. I'm going to put a link in the description for you to get the heart and key. It may not be exactly this same mold, um, but you, if you want this look, you can get the heart and key is what I'm focusing on using. Needing your find it. You want to get your pieces out the way um, at, and have everything done because glitter will get everywhere. So... Taking this, and if you want to roll it, you can with your rolling pin, as so. And I have my 
I had my little scraper. Take your scraper, the Teco scraper, and just scrape right along the top of your mold. Okay. I'll let that sit in there while you get your key. You can prep your pieces. Scrape along there, get your key. Taking you a small piece of wax paper or parchment paper, whichever one you choose, or you can do it right on your surface and pop your piece out okay if you have a hard time taking out your pieces just put your mold in the freezer i messed that one up but And shape it back up. Okay. So when you do remove your pieces, make sure you shape them back to the design of the cavity. Okay. So now you color your piece with your silver. Or if you want to do pearl. Okay. And then you can color, I mean, coat your piece if you like, or you can keep it solid. Okay, you do the same with the chain. Okay, if you need to add some powder to it so that you can pop it out. I'm doing the smaller chain. So what I'm doing is rolling up my find it like a rope size to make it more easier to fit into the cavity. Okay. And just press in. And I only need a small piece. And once you press it in, you can take your rolling pin. Just roll it back and forth to make sure it's in there. Okay, remember I need a, just a small piece. Taking your scraper.
okay so you definitely will let this sit for your chain to form okay and to remove your chain you just flip it and just gently pull out your chain okay and you want to color your chain of course and make sure you do it on wax paper not paper towel it'll, it'll stick onto your paper towel okay so you can do it along the surface i'm just doing this for the sake of time Now, normally you will let this sit and don't let it sit too long because if it's going to go over the um, tree, you definitely want it to be flexible, okay? So, adding your chain piece. Trying to keep it together. To your tree letting it fall over wherever it may lay and if it has to be colored some more you can color it but cut the piece there make sure you get your sides here that your whole chain is covered and coated but just let it fall over cut your extra off okay then when your pieces dry up you can just add your piece a adding a little bit of water to the back of your fondant and just add it to your treat and put it close enough to look like it's coming off like it's a bracelet or something all right clean it up there and that's y'all still with me You can get it off of Amazon. And I'm going to leave all of that in the description box below. But I'm also going to show you another way that you can use your mold. Um, and this is, you can find whatever. This is a ribbon that I have had to go with the denim look. Folding your ribbon as so what you want to collect. Okay together and I use a twist tie and you can tie it around like I did this one here tie the twist tie around and just apply it right to your tree whichever one you want to put it on okay you can also package these In a nice package you can add some um, shredded paper or however you whatever you like to add to it but if you want to sell them by twos it's totally up to you how you will set these out 
okay just make sure it's nice and neat when you place it in the box okay and you can cover it up that way scraper I got off of Amazon as well everything I will leave in the link in the description box up under the video of course that would don't have the ribbon on it but yep I will leave the link to the box as well in the description up under the video all right so a nice little gift you know and this will be like a set, you know, a gift set if someone want to buy it. Uh, nice little gift, $15, $20 gift set. $15, $20 treat, gift set. All right. It's a cake pop. So, real quickly. show you how another way that you can make up your your cake yep, poppy pink glitter now when I here's the cavity mode when I do when I when I add my chocolate to the cavity doing it the regular way that I do just layer the cavity um, I put it in a piping bag all right, and you can pipe it on in and apply your cake. And like I said, for those that want to see that video, go to my videos and go to, I mean, go to my channel, go to videos, and you'll find that video on how to make cake sickles. But showing you a quick way. Someone wanted to, to know, like, Ro, do I have to uh, make a full cake? No, depending on how many you're using, how many you're doing, this is a little cake that I got from the gas station. This is a, actually a muffin. Strawberry cheese muffin. Okay? That you can use for your cake to be added. Okay? Breaking up your cake. And you can... Uh-oh. I'm getting this everywhere you can do this in a, a food processor if you like or you can break it up just like this I'm gonna make sure y'all we still here we had problems yesterday or the other day whichever day it was Chop it up. Okay. This is a strawberry cheese muffin. I'm going to add some strawberry frosting. Make it up like a cake pop. So that's about two tablespoons. Two heapings. <laughs> Mix that in. And if you ever make cake pops, you mix it up like it's a doughy cons consistency. Okay. So that's what you focus it on, make it, bringing it to a doughy co uh, consistency. Flavor is in there from the cake and from the icing. If you want to add extra flavor to it, that's totally up to you. If you want to add a preserve, like what I have here, a strawberry preserve. Oh my God, it's breaking up bad. See, we got bad weather here, so that's what I was afraid of. And it's getting later in the evening.
We good? All right. I'm going to repeat that. Making up your cake for the other way to add to your cavity mold. Um, you can make add about two, two tablespoons of frosting to this strawberry cheese muffin that I had, okay? There's about 4.5 ounces of, of a muffin. Okay, I'm okay now. Cool. And you want to mix, mix the frosting and the cake, break up the cake, and, make, and mix it up until you get a dough-like consistency like you do with cake pops, okay? I'm just showing you all another way that you can do your um, cake sickles, okay? And like I said, you can add some strawberry preserve, strawberry filling to it as well. And as I stated, if you want to add a flavoring to it, you can do so. It's totally up to you. But you fix it up just like you would do a cake pop. So then what you would do is add to your cavity, put it in the freezer, and it will sit for a couple of hours or overnight. This will be something you have to make preparations for, of course. Okay. Like I said, just like doing a cake pop. You just adding it to the cavity someone asked me this before could you just add the cake and then um dip it well this is the way this is the way that person was asking and you do it just like a cake pop you want it to fill out of course so you can get the fullness of the cavity. Okay. Making sure that's even. Taking your stick and insert till you get that all the way in. And I'm just going to scrape to make sure it's all the way leveled. Okay. And the same for the next cavity. So what I did was mix icing, uh, well, um, store-bought frosting. Um, some strawberry filling, strawberry preserve filling, whatever you find. And a uh, store-bought cake. Taking a popsicle stick, insert, scrape to make sure it's leveled. And this will go in the freezer 
for a couple of hours or overnight. All right, I will be back on tomorrow to show you the finish and how to dip. Yep, because it's considered as a cake pop. So that's what you would do. And someone asked me about this and I was like, well, no, nah, I don't think you, you know, I thought the same thing, like it couldn't be done, but it's considered a cake pop. So it will be dipped as if it was a cake pop. The only difference is that you're inserting the stick and it's freezing a little longer because you have more to work with and then you want a good bottom. So when you dip into the chocolate, you dip out, okay? So this goes in the freezer, definitely for a couple of hours or overnight. I'm leaving this in overnight until tomorrow to show you how to properly dip, get a good finish back and come out with a nice cake sickle. All right. So there you have it. The denim look. And also another way to make your cake sickles. Any questions? You're welcome. Any other questions? So the person that asked me to go live, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and everybody else. Um, I know we do have a bad connection here because we had an ice storm and the weather is really bad. So it's hitting that Wi-Fi. Somebody, let me see what question you have. Yes, you'll freeze it without the chocolate. Now, you want to do it the other way, go watch, go check out my other video on how I did it that way. Yes, you can put a filling in the middle. You just have to set it up in a way. So like if you wanted to put a filling in the middle, what you would do is do layers. So you will layer one part, fill, layer, fill. You know, you will layer one half, fill another half, and then just complete it with the cake pop. How do you sit the cake pop to dry with the it on it and it doesn't pull out that's what I'm going to show you tomorrow I can't show you that right now because it has to freeze do is put it on the phone okay you welcome yep And thank you to those that always help out with others with questions. I truly appreciate that. Um, so y'all stay tuned for tomorrow. I'll go live if it's a, if it allow me. Okay. I hope you all have enjoyed this demonstration of how to do the denim cake pops. Um, everything I will leave in the, which will be up under the video. You have to click that little gray box to your right of the video and it'll drop down and it will be the information in there. I'm not going to give a time tomorrow. I'm just going to come on because I do have other sessions that I will be doing for tomorrow. So I'm not sure what, about what time, but if you hit your notification, you'll know that I'll be on. <laughs> Thank you, Nita. You're always helping out. Appreciate it. Have a great evening. Looking forward to tomorrow's tour. All right, sweet gang. That's my time. I enjoyed you all today. Been with you earlier. A couple of hours with you today. <laughs> You're welcome. And...
tomorrow will be the last live video that I will be doing with you all until furthermore come up. But you will be getting up the videos, but they will just be the videos that I normally do. Okay. Well, thanks be to God. It started buffering a little bit, so. You're welcome. You're welcome. You all have a wonderful weekend. And those that's tuning in, hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget, if you're new to my channel, hit that notification bell. So you'll know that I'm coming on. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the denim look.